The brown recluse spider has a distinct appearance and venom that makes it one of the more dangerous spiders in the world. At first glance, insects may appear small and harmless, but make no mistake, some of these tiny bugs and arachnids pack a devastating, even lethal punch. The stuff of nightmares. Bed bucks, the bloodsuckers, are found almost everywhere in international tourism. Armed with toxic venom or a formidable bite, they unleash destruction far exceeding their diminutive stature. You don't need to be big to take down a giant. Join us as we show you 20 deadly insects you don't want to mess with. Number 20. Kissing Bugs. Don't let their charming nickname fool you. Kissing bugs are bloodthirsty insects that can transmit a seriously dangerous parasite when they bite humans around the mouth or eyes. These bugs are found all across Mexico, Central America, and South America, hiding in cracks during the day and emerging at night to feed. Most people never notice when a kissing bug bites them, so you could be bitten and infected without even realizing it. Kissing bugs carry a protozoan parasite called Trypanosoma cruzi, which causes Chagas disease in humans. When the bugs bite and feed, they pass trypanosoma in their feces. The victim can then accidentally spread the parasite by rubbing it into the wound. Once trypanosoma enters the bloodstream, it invades tissues throughout the body, causing organ inflammation, failure, and sometimes death. Over 8 million people worldwide have Chagas disease contracted from kissing bugs, and without treatment, up to 30% of cases are fatal. Early on, symptoms are mild, like fever and body aches. But years later, severe heart issues or intestinal megacolon can suddenly develop. So if you live in or travel to Latin America, beware of kissing bugs. Check sleeping areas thoroughly for the insects, wear protective clothing at night outside, and immediately visit a doctor if bite symptoms appear. Your life could depend on getting treatment before Chagas disease sets in. Number 19. Human Botfly if you travel to Central or South America, beware the human botfly, a vile insect that can infect humans by laying its eggs under our skin, hatching maggots that eat their way out. These large, dense flies lack mouth parts, but have rear spikes that help them attach eggs to mosquitoes and other carriers, which then deposit larvae onto hosts. The larvae burrow inside with nasty spines anchoring them in place causing swelling, soreness, and itching as they grow and feed for five to ten weeks before dropping to the ground to pupate. Botflies favor laying eggs on exposed skin, but have parasitized eyes, nostrils, and even internally after egg carriers are swallowed. The larvae abuse their hosts like parasites while eating subdermal flesh and exuding liquids that inflame neighboring tissue. Risks include secondary infections, abscess formation, and tissue death if left untreated. Botflies won't restrict themselves to humans. They will infest all types of mammals, birds, and reptiles too. Victims feel movement and intense burning pain as the larvae grow capacious enough to see, often causing psychological distress at such graphic parasite activity. So properly sanitizing any injury abroad is essential to prevent botflies from hijacking your body to nurture their vile offspring. Number 18. Deathstalker Scorpion The Deathstalker Scorpion claims the notorious title of World's Deadliest Scorpion for good reason. It packs an exceptionally powerful venom with a high mortality rate when stung. Found across North Africa and the Middle East, these intimidating scorpions average four inches long with thick, bumpy bodies, sideways clawed pedipalps for grabbing prey, and spiky tails wielding venom-injecting barbed stingers. Deathstalkers prefer dry desert environments and emerge at night to hunt insects, arachnids, snakes, and small mammals. Their venom is a neurotoxin cocktail that shuts down sodium channels, causing severe pain, then numbness and tingling sensations. Systemic effects rapidly follow, including difficulty breathing, thick saliva secretion, blurred vision, convulsions, fever, and paralysis as the toxins damage tissues. Without medical intervention, victims usually die from pulmonary edema fluid buildup in the lungs or high blood pressure within two to five days. Fortunately, most stings involve less than the 20 to 30 milligrams of venom considered lethal for humans. But high toxicity means death stalkers only need to deploy 2 milligrams to kill a full-grown mouse. So encounters with these aggression-prone scorpions can easily take a turn for the worst. If stung, immediately clean and cool the area, 
Remain calm, then seek anti-venom treatment as toxic effects rapidly escalate in under an hour. Deathstalkers may sound brutally named, but with proper precautions, their menacing reputation won't claim you as a victim. Number 17. Bullet Ant According to the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, bullet ants deliver the single most excruciating insect sting in the world, and one sting is enough to drop a full-grown human. Bullet ants are large ants over an inch long found inhabiting humid lowland rainforests across Central and South America, and they get their metal-inspired label from the sensation caused by their venom-filled stings, immediate shrieking pain, much like a gunshot wound. The bullet ant's venom contains potent neurotoxins, including ponerotoxin, causing paralysis and lasting waves of burning, throbbing pain that incapacitates victims for 24 hours or more. Some indigenous tribes use bullet ants as initiation rites for young men to prove themselves, requiring them to wear mitts full of agitated ants and endure many agonizing stings. The ants are reluctant to attack unprovoked, but can quickly sting when disturbed, grabbing tightly then twisting their sizable abdomens to drive the stinger repeatedly deep into the flesh. Beyond instantaneous torture-grade sting sites, their venom triggers dangerous heart rate increases in humans along with nausea, cold sweats, and tremors. Multiple stings could potentially induce paralysis or prove fatal depending on the victim's age and health. So next time you spy a huge wandering ant while trekking the Amazon, give it plenty of space lest you catch a toxic bullet. Number 16. Brown Recluse Spider The brown recluse spider is one of the most dangerous spiders in the United States. This venomous spider can be found in the south and central parts of the country, inhabiting areas like Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, and Nebraska. So if you are in these areas, you need to watch out for the brown recluse. This spider gets its name from its color and habits. It has a brown body and likes to hide in dark, undisturbed places like woodpiles, debris, boxes, and crawl spaces. The brown recluse is not an aggressive spider, and it only bites when threatened or accidentally touched or squeezed. But when it does bite, its venom can have devastating effects. The venom from a brown recluse bite destroys skin tissues and blood vessels, causing a painful lesion that takes months to heal. In some cases, the wound can grow larger than a quarter. Other dangerous systemic reactions are possible, like fever, chills, nausea, joint pain, and rashes. It was just keeping me from, one, losing my leg, losing even more tissue than I already had because it ate down to my fat and muscle. Multiple organ failure and even death have been reported in rare cases, especially in children. So a brown recluse bite is an emergency. Seek medical help immediately. Early wound care and antibiotics are crucial. This shy but dangerous spider mostly comes out at night to hunt. Its populations are concentrated in rural areas across the south-central United States. So if you live in these regions, inspect your home thoroughly, keep things tidy, and never reach into unseen places without protection. The brown recluse deserves its reputation as one of the most dangerous spiders in North America. Don't let it catch you by surprise. Number 15. Siafu Ants Columns of chaos come marching if you ever stumble into the merciless army of ants called Siafu. Roving swarms 50 million strong emerge from the forest floor to voraciously hunt almost any meat in their path, overpowering victims by tidal wave force of bodies alone. These are the legendary and rightly feared driver ants of Africa. Unlike static ant colonies, Siafu march almost constantly on raids seeking prey to fuel their vast numbers. Sorties last weeks and traverse miles tracked by pheromone trails kept refreshed by new guides. Scouts taste and test anything stationary for siege worthiness, then release attack signals. Immediately the horde converges, flowing relentlessly over their target while delivering mass bites with vice grip jaws. The marabou stork's feathers serve as a metaphor for this unrelenting mass vanishing entire animals to scattered bones within hours. Nothing impedes their progress. Siafu overcomes spiders and wasps. Raid beehives unperturbed by masses of stings through sacrificial front lines. They even climb straight vertical surfaces like chandeliers if detecting food scents above. And tails persist of the most nightmarish threat. 
driver ants entering houses and killing small pets, or unattended infants unable to escape the suffocating blanket of mandibles slicing incrementally to the bone. So pray you don't cross trails with a merciless army on the march, where confrontation promises being utterly overwhelmed and then consumed by a furiously unrelenting living tide. Number 14. Hymenoepimesis argyraphaga The parasitoid wasp, Hymenoepimesis argyraphaga, has a gruesome reproductive strategy. Paralyzing orb weaver spiders with targeted venom stings, then laying eggs on their bellies so hatched larvae can slowly devour their hosts alive. These intimidating insects are found in neotropical rainforests ranging from Costa Rica through much of South America. The female wasps seek out web-building spiders to continue their nightmarish life cycle. After stinging and paralyzing a host, the wasp glues an egg to its prey's abdomen and flies off. The egg hatches, and the grub-like larva begins grisly work, sucking spider blood and fluids through an entry hole bored into its belly, steadily siphoning innards while somehow keeping basic organs functioning to keep the meal fresh. For two weeks, the larva incrementally consumes inner flesh before pupating. Once metamorphosis finishes, the mature wasp emerges violently from the spider's now empty husk. So while not directly threatening to humans, Hymeno epimixis wasps exemplify horror movie level body snatchers biology. Scientists are studying potential medical applications for their targeted paralysis venom in surgeries or as a pain management therapy. But meeting this species in the wilderness still promises a skin crawling display of macabre insectoid butchery. The wasps lead their hosts in a lurid dance macabre to fuel their nightmarish next incarnation. Number 13, Blister Beetle. Let's face it, we live in Arizona, so we come across a lot of pests and insects, but this one is definitely one to look out for. It's called a blister beetle. The blister beetle might seem like an innocent insect, but it packs a seriously toxic punch. This large family of beetles is found throughout the United States during the summer months. Blister beetles get their name from a special toxin called cantharidin that they produce, which causes large, painful blisters when they come in contact with skin. And they get their name because they produce a toxin, cantharidin, which can cause blisters on the skin, and that's why I'm wearing rubber gloves with him. If you see a beetle with an elongated body and bright colors like black, blue, yellow, or orange stripes, it's likely a blister beetle. Don't touch it. Simply handling a blister beetle can cause your skin to erupt in blisters. And if you accidentally swallow one, for example, if a beetle falls into a drink you are sipping, it can be extremely dangerous. The toxin can destroy the lining of your stomach and intestinal tract, leading to bloody vomiting and diarrhea. Without prompt treatment, ingesting just a few beetles can be fatal. Blister beetles also pose a danger to livestock like horses and sheep. The beetles are drawn to alfalfa hay and can end up baled inside. When animals eat tainted hay, the toxins cause bleeding ulcers in their mouths and intestines. Just a few beetles can kill a horse, so farmers must carefully inspect hay supplies to keep their animals safe. In short, the blister beetle may be brightly colored, but it means danger. Never touch these insects with bare hands, and teach children not to pick up any kinds of beetles or bugs they find. A bite or accidental ingestion of one of these beetles can quickly become life-threatening. So watch your step and keep blister beetles far away. Number 12. Asian Giant Hornet The Asian Giant Hornet, also called the Yak Killer Hornet, is the world's largest hornet species and one of the most dangerous insects on Earth. Growing over two inches long with a three-inch wingspan, these hornets are nightmarish creatures found in Eastern Asia. Their incredibly potent venom and aggressive group attacks make them a serious threat to humans. The giant hornet has a sting that victims describe as feeling like a hot nail piercing deep into their flesh. The venom itself destroys red blood cells and tissues, causing local swelling and extreme pain that can last over a week. But what makes these hornets so dangerous is their aggression when disturbed. They will actively pursue threats for over 60 feet, and they attack in groups, spraying venom in repeated stinging assaults. In Japan, the giant hornets kill up to 50 people every year. Most fatal attacks involve over 30 stings, inducing anaphylactic shock and multiple organ failure. 
but even just a few stings can be lethal if the venom gets into the bloodstream. Back in 2013, over 40 Chinese schoolchildren were hospitalized after giant hornets attacked them in a flurry of stingers. So with the right protective gear, giant hornets can be safely removed from areas they colonize. But if you ever stumble into an active nest, run for your life and seek medical care. Multiple stings from giant hornets can quickly cause toxicity, shock, and death. Number 11. Brazilian Wandering Spiders Arguably the world's most venomous spider, the Brazilian Wandering Spider, or Banana Spider, is an absolute terror of the arachnid world found in tropical South America. These nocturnal spiders actively hunt at night instead of building webs, wandering along rainforest floors seeking prey. They get their name from their tendency to hide inside banana bunches shipped overseas, sometimes causing workers to be bitten by surprises. The wandering spider's highly neurotoxic venom can be fatal within just a few hours, with a mortality rate of 7%, even with anti-venom treatment. Victims initially experience radiating pain and local sweating. Within 30 minutes, symptoms like hypothermia, vertigo, blurred vision, convulsions, and paralysis take hold as the venom attacks the central nervous system and organs start shutting down. Even if the bite victim survives, they can experience painful priapism or long-lasting erections due to venom effects on nitric oxide pathways. So Brazilian wandering spiders truly live up to their reputation as one of the world's most dangerous arachnids. Thankfully, they avoid conflicts when possible, but will deliver a lightning-fast bite if threatened or mishandled. So if you're ever traveling to their native habitat, do not take spiders lightly. Number 10. Puss Caterpillar It may look soft and fuzzy, but the Puss Caterpillar is actually one of the most venomous caterpillars in North America, causing extremely painful stings when touched. It lives throughout the southern United States, feeding on oak and elm leaves as a larva before maturing into the southern flannel moth. You can identify puss caterpillars by their cute teardrop shape and long hair-like spines that cover their bodies. Those tiny hairs unfortunately contain potent toxins, powerful enough to send people to the hospital. When the hairs pierce skin, they break off and release venom resulting in a raised red grid of rash-like welts across the affected area. The swelling and burning pain has been described as worse than broken bones. Other dangerous symptoms like swollen glands, nausea, headache, abdominal distress, and sometimes seizures or respiratory distress can result. While puss caterpillar stings are not usually life-threatening to healthy adults, they have caused infant deaths in the past due to smaller body mass and quick onset of shock. So no matter how cute and fuzzy this little critter appears, never touch a puss caterpillar. Seek emergency care if stung to quickly get the spines removed and receive steroid injections. The puss caterpillar may resemble a harmless furry worm, but those hairs pack a dangerous punch. Number 9. Fire Ants Beware the bite of the fire ant, a stinging South American menace now common across the southern United States as well. There are currently over 285 fire ant species, but one notorious invasive called the Red Imported Fire Ant arrived by ship from Brazil in the 1930s and spread widely across the U.S. Southeast. These aggressive 1 8 inch long reddish ants earn their fiery nickname from the painful burning sting they inflict. Fire ants vigorously defend their expansive underground colonies when disturbed, swarming in the hundreds to bite victims repeatedly while spraying formic acid. This acid and injected ant venom proteins cause local swelling plus extreme pain and fiery irritation lasting up to a week per bite. Usually stings only require basic first aid, but multiple fire ants can disable animals as large as calves with thousands of accumulated venom injections. The greater risks emerge for those allergic to their stings. Around 5% of children and 2% of adults may react severely with symptoms like chest tightness, vomiting, wheezing, swollen tongues, or even life-threatening anaphylaxis causing airway constriction and plummeting blood pressure. These extreme allergic reactions have caused occasional human deaths when medical aid comes too late. So for populations vulnerable to anaphylaxis, fire ants pose a deadly regional health hazard. In summary, aggressively territorial fire ants stand ready to rapidly swarm and painfully sting any intruders near their extensive colonies. 
While first incidents may seem harmless, repeated exposure can trigger allergy onset and subsequent dangerous health impacts, including death if severe hypersensitivity reactions occur. Fire ants are clearly one hot species you don't want to get burned by. Number 8. Yellow Sack Spider Don't let small spiders fool you, they can still pack potent bites. The yellow sack spider is a tiny golden-colored spider, just 0.25 inches long on average, that lives all over North America. It gets the sack part of its name from the silken, tube-shaped retreat it builds to rest in during the day. But at night, it emerges to hunt a variety of insects thanks to its venomous bite. A yellow sack spider's venom can produce necrotic skin lesions in humans if they happen to get bitten, though this reaction is uncommon. Redness, stinging, and discomfort around the bite site are more likely. The venom itself contains cytotoxic compounds that damage cell membranes and cause localized injury. In very rare cases, the cell toxins get into the bloodstream and create vision disturbances, organ impairment, severe muscle cramping, or spasms. So in general, yellow sac spider bites are not medically significant unless you experience symptoms beyond minor pain and itching at the site. Still, take caution around any spiders you see as toxic potential does exist. Bites appearing swollen, red, or blistered should receive prompt medical care, especially in infants and young children, and never handle small spiders directly. The yellow sack spider may seem harmless hiding in its silken retreat, but it still packs a wallop if mishandled. Number 7. Redback Spider The Australian redback spider belongs to the widow spider family, and is closely related to the Black Widow. About the size of a pea with a round abdomen, redbacks are shiny black spiders with a prominent red stripe on their backs. The stripe is hourglass-shaped on females and more spot-like on males. These spiders construct messy, tangled webs in dry, dark places across Australia, as well as New Zealand, Belgium, and Japan, after likely hitching rides abroad inside transported produce like grapes. But despite their small size, redbacks pack a potent neurotoxic venom that can cause severe injuries in humans when bitten. The toxins affect sodium channels, causing pain and swelling around the bite site combined with nausea, vomiting, headache, extreme sweating, and salivation. As venom spreads, muscles start contracting involuntarily, pupils dilate, blood pressure spikes dangerously, and paralysis, coma, or even death can occur if untreated. Luckily, Redbacks are shy spiders that only bite if carelessly handled, or if trapped against bare skin. In the past couple of decades, antivenoms and supportive treatments have reduced the risk of fatalities to less than 1% from prior rates up to 10%. But left untreated, 10 to 12 hours is the typical survival time post-bite. So while the dangers are often exaggerated, redback spiders are still venomously formidable. Give them a wide berth if encountered, as just two teaspoons of their nerve toxin can kill an adult human. A redback's beaming warning stripe serves a good purpose. Number 6. Lanomia obliqua caterpillar The Lanomia obliqua caterpillar looks harmless enough, a fuzzy green worm you might expect to see nibbling leaves. But this two-inch long species found in the rainforests of Brazil, Venezuela, and other Latin American countries secretes a deadly anticoagulant toxin that causes untreatable internal bleeding and potential death when touched. So don't cuddle these caterpillars. Lanomia obliqua caterpillars feed on plants at night and hide on stems and bark by day. Their bristly spines break off into skin on contact introducing the blood-thinning poison that destroys clotting factors and triggers uncontrolled internal and external bleeding. Symptoms start as bruising around sting sites, then vomiting blood, bleeding gums, nose, blood in urine or stool, and large hidden hematomas as vessels start rupturing everywhere. Unchecked, victims hemorrhage rapidly and catastrophically, needing transfusions but often succumbing to organ failure anyway due to unstoppable internal injuries. Annually, these caterpillars cause over 500 life-threatening cases in southern Brazil alone, with an over 20% fatality rate from current antivenom's inability to effectively counter the obliqua's anticoagulant effects. So no matter how harmless that leaf-munching fuzzy worm appears, give Lanomia obliqua caterpillars an extremely wide, cautious berth. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. 
Australia is famous for being home to some very strange animals. Experts estimate that Australia has between 200,000 and 300,000 animal species, many of them found nowhere else on Earth. Some of these creatures can seem quite terrifying and bizarre at times, as evidenced by occasional videos and photos of strange incidents emerging from Australia. One such case involved a type of spider that can apparently burrow under human skin. The spider attacked a young boy, but thankfully doctors were able to remove it from his back. While an unpleasant story, it does speak to the truly unique and sometimes frightening nature of Australia's wildlife. Have you yourself come across any strange insects or arachnids? Let us know in the comments. Number 5. Sydney Funnelweb Spider Meet the murderous menace of Australia's bush, the Sydney Funnelweb Spider. Considered one of the most deadly spiders on Earth, the Sydney Funnelweb is a two-inch-long jet-black terror covered with glossy hairs and front fangs primed to bite. The largest specimen ever recorded had a freakish four-inch leg span. These spiders occupy moist forest habitats around Sydney, building silk-lined tubes under logs and rocks that give the funnel web its name. Reclusive and non-aggressive towards humans, Sydney funnel webs still bite if accidentally touched or cornered, and their fangs can easily penetrate shoes and gloves to inject huge doses of fast-acting veritoxin, a neurotoxin 20 times more powerful than a rattlesnake's venom. Without antivenom treatment, human deaths occur in under an hour as venom wreaks systemic havoc, causing profuse sweating and salivation, then heart attack or full respiratory shutdown from paralysis. So funnel web spiders pose serious danger if encountered before hospital intervention. One teenage victim described the venom's onset as feeling like knives piercing every muscle simultaneously while battling waves of nausea. So best not to get intimate with any bristly black spiders down under resembling draft excluders. Give funnel webs a wide steer and you won't end up at death's door. Number 4. Setsi Flies Minute in size yet mighty in torment is the scourge of sub-Saharan Africa, the blood-sucking Setsi Fly. These small brown flies transmit protozoan trypanosoma parasites in their bites, which cause potentially fatal human sleeping sickness and related cattle diseases, Nagana and Sura. Spreading sickness has enabled sets of flies to best an entire continent through depopulation, famine, and economic traps. But why so dangerous? Setsi flies feed on blood like mosquitoes, but carry parasitic trypanosoma in their midgut to new hosts. Variants exist causing chronic wasting illnesses in animals, while others produce deadly human sleeping sicknesses. Early-stage symptoms include fever, headache, and joint pain, then progresses to neurological disruption, emaciation, coma, and ultimate organ failure. Without diagnosis and treatment, sleeping sickness kills 95% of victims, usually within months or a few years. Difficulty estimating undiagnosed cases means the true death toll is uncertain, but likely surpasses 100,000 Africans annually, and imposes a massive yet hidden health burden through disabilities and reduced life expectancy. Setsi flies insomnia and appetite loss impair productivity while infected mothers birth stillborn babies. And regions infested with human-biting Setsi variants become death traps for settlement-leading migrations elsewhere, perpetuating the fly's continental domination. Number 3. Black Widow Spider The extremely venomous Black Widow Spider deserves its chilling reputation as one of the most dangerous arachnids in North America. Easily identified by the red hourglass shape on its otherwise shiny black abdomen, the female Black Widow is a master of toxins, wielding a bite over 15 times more powerful than a rattlesnake's. Black Widows build messy cobwebs in dark undisturbed places, like wood piles and tree hollows, where they wait to ambush passing insects and occasionally curious humans. Peak biting season runs from May through October when large egg sacs hatch streams of baby spiderlings, escalating defensive aggression in mothers. True to the lurid mythos, the Black Widow's venom is a neurotoxin cocktail that causes muscle spasms, abdominal cramping, pain, and rigidity. But life-threatening manifestations are rare. Just headaches, anxiety, sweating, and high blood pressure are expected for most adults bitten. Only young children, the elderly, or the infirm face the highest mortality risks if bitten and untreated. 
Still, medical intervention is recommended for black widow bites to monitor the progression of toxins that can also damage red blood cells and organs in worst-case scenarios. Number 2. Assassin Caterpillar Armed and extremely dangerous, meet nature's stabbing assassin, the Lanomia obliqua caterpillar. This unassuming two-inch long green larva bristling with soft fuzzy spines is found munching rainforest leaves across Venezuela, Brazil, and surrounding countries. But touch their spines and you'll immediately discover why they hold world's deadliest caterpillar status. Through an insidious evolutionary invention, the assassin caterpillar weaponized its own seti hair-like projections into hypodermic needles loaded with deadly anticoagulant toxins. A brush against Lanomia's spines embeds multitudes deep into the skin, where the minuscule harpoons then dissolve and deliver catastrophic blood poisoning. The toxins damage vascular walls while potentially inhibiting clotting factors to cause rapidly expanding internal and external hemorrhage. Soon, victims experience vomiting blood, bleeding gums, dark urine from ruptured kidneys, easy bruising everywhere, and large hidden hematomas as vessels start failing across the body. Uncontrolled internal bleeding then causes organ failure and death within days if left untreated. Currently, no antivenom exists to counteract the effects of the assassin caterpillar's exceptionally potent hemorrhagic agents. So instead, toxicology races against the clock using blood transfusions, clotting factor concentrates, and vitamin K to try stabilizing critically ill patients before blood loss claims them. Number 1. Mosquitoes the whiny buzz of a mosquito is perfectly synonymous worldwide with nuisance and discomfort from itchy bites. But aggravating wings can herald seriously dangerous health outcomes too. As principal transmitters of parasites and viruses causing malaria, yellow fever, dengue, Zika, and more in their saliva, mosquitoes exact heavy death tolls measuring into the hundreds of thousands annually. Succeeding on every continent except frigid Antarctica, over 3,500 mosquito species fill global ecological niches as plant nectar sippers and blood feeders of humans plus all vertebrates. Females in particular hunt hosts to develop eggs after mating, preferring mammal or avian blood plasma. And here's where the true danger lies through ingesting infected microbes like malaria protozoa, and then passing these along amplified into new victims bitten subsequently. Mosquito saliva injection allows parasites direct vascular access to proliferate systemically or migrate to organs like malaria-wrecking livers. Viruses overwhelm local defenses and then spread contagiously over wider outbreak zones. Resulting illnesses cause high fevers with chills, body aches, organ damage, and neurological symptoms ultimately killing 20 to 50% or more untreated, depending on the pathogen species involved. So while pestiferous mosquito chomping elicits typical annoyance, recognizing disease transmission makes them humankind's deadliest animal predator. These insidious insects have darkened history pages by vectoring unstoppable plagues. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.